Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, that is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I'm a reader and a writer. So welcome or welcome back to a bi-weekly wrap-up. I generally try to do a weekly wrap-up, but one, I'm behind on getting my videos edited and uploaded, and two, what I read this week kind of crosses over in both weeks. But I'm going to first start with a book haul. We went to our local indie bookstore and I got The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune, which I read earlier this summer and loved. And then we went to the comic book store and I got the volume one bind up of Fruits Basket. I know it's more than just the first one because it's bigger but I'm excited to have this. And then I bought the first volume of the Orin High School Host Club. So everything I bought, I have already read and I bought them because I know I'm gonna want to reread them. That's kind of my personality now with buying things is I'm trying to buy things that I have read and I know I'm going to. I I'm still gonna be picking up things that I haven't read and that I'm interested in, but I'm trying to really flesh out more of my collection of things that I love. And so that kind of rolls into what I have read over this past two weeks. I read the first volume of the Orin Host Club, the Orin High School Host Club. Like I said, it's a something I've read before. This follows Hiroki, who is looking for a quiet place to study and runs into the host club. She is dressed more in a similar to a boy's uniform. She's a scholarship student to this elite academy. And it kind of takes her through joining this host club and slowly the members are kind of figuring out, oh, Hiroki's actually female and getting accepted and making some very eccentric friends. Then these next two I read twice. I read Horimiya Volume 1 and Horimiya Volume 2. And this is a, another shoujo manga series and it's following Hori and then Miyamura. And Hori at school is known to be a very beautiful woman always her makeup's always on point she's smart you know people really are attracted to her and Miyamura is more seen as gloomy long hair kind of keeps to himself the two end up meeting outside of school and they look very different Hori is taking care of her brother not wearing any makeup and is just kind of a plain Jane and she finds out the reason why Miyamura has long hair is he's covering that he has a whole bunch of piercings in his ears and he ha even has a piercing in his lip that I guess she somehow didn't see at school. I don't know. And they become friends, you know, with the help of Hori's little brother Soda. And they decide that they're comfortable with one another as they truly are. And they become closer even at school and their friendship grows from there eventually. It's obviously going to go into love. It's a shoujo. And like I said, I read these twice in the past two weeks just because I have been needing something more lighthearted. As I, as I continue reading Babel, I am still working on that. My buddy reader, Margaret Pernard, is done and just patiently waiting for me to catch up. I'm in the last 10 chapters of it, so hopefully we'll be done soon. But this is definitely a very deep read. Like Kwong has layered things upon one another. So uh, I think Margaret and I are going to be doing a book chat with another booktuber who's also just recently read this. And I'm not quite sure when that's going to be, or if this video will be out in time for me to really announce when that will be. 
I'm going to go with probably not, so then I'll just link down below our chat if you want to see our thoughts. After finishing Babel, I am hoping then to go back and then finish The Jasmine Throne because I was really enjoying this before I picked up Babel. But again, it's a, another big chunky book and yeah, I totally failed on my magical readathon TBR, which this was a part of, but I still want to finish the things I have for it. So we shall see. For my writing wrap up, I have sat down and had a conversation with my sister and we have settled on what our genre is going to be for NaNoWriMo and we've to, we've each chosen a character because so well, this will be a dual POV story and we've given ourselves the homework to figure out more about our characters and bring that to one another to keep fleshing things out for our outline. I'm not generally an outline person but I think that this will help me stay focused on what I'm supposed to be writing and we can move things around as we need to then. So that is progressing. <laughs> And then for other media, still watching Master Chef with my husband, still watching Secret Chef with my husband, and then everything else has been anime shows. So I'm not sure where I left off. Um, I watched the Orin High School Host Club, which is one reason why I picked this up and was able to reread it. I watched Fruits Basket. So again, I was like, okay, I want to have the collection. And then I watched Hori Mia, which I actually watched the full first season that's out. And then they're still in the progress of dropping the second season. And they're dropping these subtitled episodes before all the dubbed ones are done. And that is really what made me then pick up this one to read the series. Really enjoying it. Um, I also watched Classroom of the Elite, the two seasons that are on there. Um, I've watched the first season of The Ice Guy and His Cool Female Colleague, and then I have watched the two seasons of Kimini Todoki from Me to You, which is a classic shoujo. Classroom of the Elite is not a shoujo. That is more like a psych psychological thriller set in a classroom. But basically everything else I've read is shoujo. I've been in a romance mood and my attention span with the election campaign has been short things. So that's really why I'm going into anime and manga. I am currently read, I'm currently watching Fastest Finger First, which is about a quiz show. And just learning a lot about like the quiz show and trivia things. It's never been something I've done because I'm really bad with that sort of knowledge, but I'm having a lot of fun watching this, like, show. You know, sometimes you just need something light and fluffy, and I am an escapist TV watcher, so. If you like anime or manga and have anything you want to suggest to me, please let me know down below. I am not becoming a manga or anime channel. It's just right now that is kind of what my brain has been needing. It's lighter things kind of to read, to watch. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you all have a great time and please, if you have not already, subscribe and leave me a comment. Thank you and have a great day.